The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. This is Norm who we've met, he's from, well he says he's from Victoria but he's from an awful lot of other places where he's worked at and we met him or we saw him in Luna Blanco in uh, centre of Ulaanbaatar yesterday but um, he's not vegetarian so I'd just like to say, ask you Norm, why, um, why were you in a well recommended vegan restaurant in Ulaanbaatar yesterday? Well, because I'd been there with the group that I was uh -huh. in Mongolia with, the Earthwatch right. group. The, our, our local guide, I guess it was, that, that knew of the place. Right, okay. And uh, she, she took us there and the food was just so great yep. that uh, when they all went off to the, on a car trip yesterday, I took myself back there to Luna right. Blanca. So, so it was just so good. So it was a true local recommendation then for some, just for good food? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. really vegetarian I, or non-vegetarian, it was just a it, good restaurant. You know, yeah. I'm quite happy to eat vegetarian. I love my meat too, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, it was just so so good. Uh -huh. I went back there, and I'm afraid I had much the same as I'd had the day before. Oh, if that's okay it if you enjoyed a, it so much. Yeah. And um, is that um, is that sort of experience likely to um, make you a bit more inclined to try a vegan vegetarian restaurant, there, or do you go to them anyway? I, I, or I, I, I go to them anyway. How do you think you're going to go about eating? Um, on the way to Vladivostok. Um, I'm thinking already on this, this sort of trip, um, we're going okay, but going up to that northeastern part of Russia, what, are you, what sort of food are you expecting to eat on that, on that yeah, journey? Well, I wish I knew. I, I'm not at all prepared for this ride today from UB to right. Irkutsk because I didn't have to be from Beijing to UB right. because there was a dining car on yes. the train and I could eat there and yes, I did buy some stuff at, yeah. uh, at stops but uh, as a result, I just thought, oh yes, there'll be a dining car and I can yeah. get food there. I've got a little bit of food with me right, okay. but, uh, and I bought some along the way today. Yeah. But uh, so I'm going to try and find out about. I, I expect surely on the major. Yes. There'll uh, be a dining car, right? Trans Siberian. There will be a dining. So car. you haven't loaded your suitcase with chocolate bars like I have, or no, noodles, I've, or dried I've, soups, or uh, anything like that. The things that I bought from home have been uh -huh. muesli bars, yep. uh, dried apples, ap uh, almonds, and dried apricots, right. and raisins and some farmers. And is that as a rescue food in case you can't yes, find anything yeah, else? Yeah. Yeah. I come bearing some gifts. Uh, dark chocolate was what you desired. Dark oh, chocolate it is. Thank you. Oh, oh. the orange. Oh, you star. That's my favourite thing. Right. That's amazing. Kit Kat? Thank you. Will that be all right? Yeah. No worries. Ah, uh, no, no. I've got plenty of chocolate for the moment, so it'll be a. It's a pleasure to share it with you. Yeah. And um, we fished out the book with the little pictures. I don't know if you want to. Oh, uh, so this is um, the pictures used in Korea. Oh, you, you're using it everywhere? Yes. yes to everywhere. get rye veggie? Yeah, oh, okay. They've been planted. transferred from, hilariously, I got them from KFC. <laughs> yeah, right, excellent. Because they had a nutritional pyramid on one of these bits of paper that they give you. Um, right. Fries, and I just cut them out and stuck them in. Well, that, for me, that's the perfect thing to get it from KFC. <laughs> yeah, To know. suit a vegetarian's <laughs> purpose. So I'd just like to um, introduce Stephen Elker here, who... Um, fellow travellers um, and we've been hearing conversations of vegetarianism through the walls of the compartments and Elk and Steve are in the adjacent compartment to us and uh, so I just was pretty keen to have a chat with Elka who's a vegetarian and Steve who's um, her omnivore partner and um, so I'd just like to start off with uh, Elka just tell me about um, Tell me about your vegetarian experiences in Ulaanbaatar, where we've just come from. Well, it's actually been very surprising. Um, so far in Asia, it's been a bit hit and miss, and Ulaanbaatar, I have to say, has more vegan or vegetarian restaurants than anywhere else mm. I've been. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy, isn't it? It surprises me in this particular part of the world. So, Steve, tell us um, how Elka's vegetarianism affects 
you um, travelling yep. here on, in, uh, we're just about to head towards Siberia and at home? Elka does most of the cooking and so what we, we basically have a meat-free household in terms of cooking, yep. um, which is fine by me. Um, I, I have uh, vegetarians in my family, it's, it's not okay. an alien concept yeah. at all. And, uh, and re I really enjoy vegetarian food, so that's great for me. I do indulge in meat when I, I get takeaways and things. Mm. Um, yeah, tell me about meat in the house. Um, like we're have, we've been having a conversation about, you know, how, what about your storing meat? Say you had a, a guest who desperately wanted meat, would you be happy to put a lump of meat or chicken in the fridge or freezer? Or what about the pots and pans if somebody wanted to have meat at dinner? How does that work it, in your it house? It can be difficult, it can be yeah. difficult. We've, um, because my friend, who is vegetarian, used to live with us, we were we were the majority and got the yeah. casting vote. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. At the moment, it's just me and Steve, and he's happy. So this is vegetarian democracy <laughs> yes, at work then, yeah, indeed. amongst meat eaters. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. 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 Absolutely. At the moment, yeah. it's, it's vegetarian um, or dictatorship. I cook, therefore you get what I say. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> I think works. that's very common in families. Yeah, if, whoever the cook is, whatever they eat, yeah. they have the right to, Absolutely. I think, determine what you're eating. Yeah. So tempted for vegetarianism? Um, Perhaps yes, tempted, tempted, but still oh. wavering, <laughs> shall we say? Uh, under pressure to be? No, no, I'm not okay. under pressure. One of the things about veginess um, is eating, being vegetarian, eating in a meat-dominated table. Mm -hmm. And um, like uh, for me personally, on the whole, I don't really mind it too much. There are a few things. Um, in fact, there's only one meal I've ever had, which is in Boston at the restaurant called The Park, Barbara Lynch is the chef, whereas one of my friends ordered assiette of pork mm. and essentially had pig's brains, pig's kidneys, pig's mm. liver and, it, and I was just nauseated and also if I see people ordering fish with fish's mm. heads there, mm -hmm. uh, really, yeah, that's, that's a big deal. Tell me, how, what's it like for you on that situation or, does it not, or you're not bothered by it because I'm you not, have eaten I'm meat in I'm not overly place. bothered. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think even when I was a meat eater, I perhaps had a, a small inner vegetarian who would just look at things that were obviously from an animal and go, no. Mm -hmm. So if it's something like a brain or a kid, yeah, right. I've never been interested in that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Um, especially small fish. I remember one incident right. when I was a teenager and somebody tried to get me to eat anchovies on a yeah, right. and I just said no because it looks like my goldfish. I don't yeah, want right. to eat yeah. that. There is, a, there is a fair point about the actually what you're getting and do you know what it is um, in some right. places. And you're keen to know what you're I'm eating? I'm keen to know what I'm eating. Right. If I don't, I'm really not, okay. not right, going okay. down the well, That's interesting because um, um, the meat eaters amongst my travelling group are eating stuff which they know is meat, they don't know what it is and just getting on with it. So I'm pleased to meet somebody who meat. Uh, somebody who um, is interested in what sort of meat it is. Well, it's been lovely to meet you and, uh, you. and uh, talk about vegging out with Vidani. Thanks. <laughs>